on my two points. I got a one more result. I forgot about it. You know which one? Yeah. Um, the remaining stats dating for 30 years back, um, um, two of uh, the, the states I don't, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't mention, um, two point seven four five two. Two million seven hundred forty-five thousand three hundred twelve licenses has been suspended. Only six hundred um six hundred eighty-four thousand three hundred twenty-three of those licenses have not been reinstated. In New York State, three hundred eighty-three thousand two hundred twelve licenses have been suspended, and in three three hundred three thousand and eleven has not been reinstated. In Florida, three hundred twelve thousand two hundred and twelve licenses have been suspended. One hundred eighty-nine thousand seven hundred fifteen has not been sus um, not been reinstated. In Atlanta, 294,612 licenses. I mean, Georgia, 294,612 licenses have been suspended and 194,194 license is not reinstated. Um, um, PhD holders, 7,804 PhD holders license are suspended and 7,804 of them are not reinstated. They refuse to reinstate them. And, um, doctors, 194 doctors license are suspended. 194 doctors refuse to reinstate their license. 192 attorney lawyers license is suspended. 192 uh, lawyers refuse to reinstate their license. Priests, ministers, servants, and nuns, 124 of them have their license suspended and they refuse to reinstate them. 124 politicians, 74 of them have their license, including me, and <laughs> suspended. And 74 refuse to reinstate them. Celebrities, 278 celebrities have them suspended. And 278, 278 refused to get them reinstated. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this topic very quick. Um, so every politician, this is a, a pivotal moment in your election, in your state, at the, uh, you're the sitting governor or the one running for office, no Democrat, Republican, with all 50 states. Most of um, from Hawaii and, and uh, every state. So to address, address the problem that these drivers are suffering, these drivers suffer, or they have to drive out a license and scare and paranoid. And some of them have to wait for life. Some of them get abused. Some of them have to pay people. Some of them have, don't have money for their rents, for their, for their, for their lifestyle and everything for this license problem. I encourage every state and every state and, and encourage the Department of Labor. This is not money that issue in the state that we're going to lose. There's no loans that we're paying that should depend on the suffering of Americans, our, our, our drivers. It's a process to get your license. We understand how much percentage of these people are safe drivers. 97.9% are safe drivers. So I encourage you guys to reinstate every single license or send a letter or, 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 or just send a law that everybody could come to the DMV. So you have a record of them. You know how much they own. You have a record of them. And you come and pick up a new license. Just for the amount of a license. No reinstatement fee. Because that's the most responsible thing to do and how to make these drivers happy once again. So they could purchase cars or they could drive uncomfortably, not parallel. Politicians, you're not everything. You're just not that important. Those driver's license people are that important. Trust me, you think you know it all. You think that you want to be a big shot collecting money and fundraisers and campaigns and collecting from your campaign and kissing ass to the wrong people. But you need to kiss ass to those people with a suspended license. I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care if you're independent, I don't give a fuck who you are. You so you um, reinstate those licenses in the next month. Including um Murphy Baby in New Jersey. So that's the first one I'm watching. All right, I need one more election as well. I'm done here. Um, I wanted to talk to my Facebook. Um, but I'm gonna do that one. I'm making this thing. Oh, so the doctor, oh, so, um, meta, oh, so I'm a little nervous over there. What is this old CA? Um, I anyway, Doctor Ash has nine hundred eighty-three thousand seven hundred twenty-four votes. Um, um, all right here, Henry Abel on the this is a this is the house. Um, and the, and it's, what's the guy after the old man? First of all, it's what I do. And, uh, I have a friend from West Indian Hang Anyway, and, and his, his, from Bowen, I forgot his name. Um, he had nine, you had 983,412 votes. He had 983,401 votes. That loser failed. And he lost. So you better take your seat today, Mr. Oz. I thought I was, um, you are the winner. That race. That full time to work to the race. All right, next. I want to talk about Facebook. And the, 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 the work environment and the diversity of the work culture in, at Facebook and in the headquarters 
Um, and necessity wise, this oh, headquarters have 668 employees total. So in necessity, um, um, white Caucasian composed of 7.4 percent of them, 72. The black composed black uh, African American, 76. 0.8% of them are black, 333. Hispanic is 12.7, 127. Um, Asian is composed of 9 to 4.7 of 47. And then other is 2.7, which is 42. And then education wise, high school graduates, 71.2% are high school graduates. Um, less than, less than a high school graduate, 12.8. A bachelor's, 71.8. Graduate on school, 7.1. Um, and master's degree, no, no, this one is something, oh, associate's degree, 7.2 percent, right, um, 0.1 and 0.1. Um, in order of age, um, from age 18 to 21, 7.2, age 22 to 30, 17.4 percent, age 31 to 35, 10.7 percent, age 36 to 40, it's 27.2 percent, age 41 to 50 is 10.7 percent, and age 55 and over, 7.4 percent. Political affiliation. Um, and, and unaffiliated is 5.7%, which is 21 people, and not registered, 4.7%, 15, Republican, 2.6, on, that's one person, and Democrat, 86.9, 601 people at, at Facebook are Democrats. Um, all right. Well, the human resources at, is, and, and Facebook at the headquarters, the human resources lady is 67 year Hispanic female, lifelong Democrat, single Puerto Rican lady, born um, she's a lifelong Democrat. She's born in Boca, on Puerto Rico, on 7 1956 at 1027 a.m. She completed her GED in San Juan on August 7, 1999, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. She moved to L.A. on 7 1712. Um, okay. Um, she lived in, in West L.A. She lived in West L.A. in a one-bedroom apartment. Her first job was a front desk receptionist in East L.A. in 2012 to 2013. Then she worked um um as a uh, as a customer service rep, um a sales rep as uh, a salesperson at American Eagle, um in September seven two thousand fourteen for two years. The in January seven two thousand fifteen she worked as a secretary in law office at West LA. Um, you never hire people. You not you. I don't know why. Why is this late? Well, how much she makes there? Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year at the Facebook headquarters. So. She quoted my question. Uh, how much money she has in bank? She has seven hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and there and there's seven more black people, including IT and everything that we have to catch, and that's another one point four million in the bank. All right, take care of this game.